Okay, now we'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to uh, braid it a little bit. Got my finger supporting the back edge right over there. And I'll start right about here. Okay, it's not the cleanest flaking, but uh, you get the idea. Now, we'll take a few flakes off of this space right here. I'm going to zoom out. It's just too hard to work in this narrow field of view here. Okay. Because the tip is bent, over here, I need to remove some mass on this particular face right over here. So what I'm doing is bringing the platform up toward that face. Shearing it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to remove some flakes right in here. Got my finger on the back edge. Keep from bending it. Okay. So it's getting straighter. Now we need to do the same thing over here. a small amount. Finger on the back edge. Okay. Pushing right into my finger there. Trying not to bend it. Wouldn't take much to snap this little tip off here. That's why we're moving really small flakes. Okay, hopefully that shows up okay. Now, it's pretty wide. I need to uh, shear a little bit. I'm going to use my larger pressure flaker here. And uh, being careful not pressing down so hard on the pad that I snap the tip of it off. down here. Sharon is just a good shortcut. Speed the process up. I'm sure the old boys did it too. You can do this with antler or you can even use a hammer stone and, and shear it like this as well. Anything hard will work. Okay, now you need to remove some mass over in here. Okay, we all lined up here. Yeah. All right, finger on the back edge. Okay. 
Now we gotta remove some flakes from this edge back toward the other edge that we just flaked. Same kind of thing, we braid a little bit. Support the back edge. I like to get my finger right there. I really can't stress that enough. If you just bear down on the pad, you're going to bend it. You really don't need to use a pad. You can use leather. It's fine. Just something to hold over a piece of wood. Something to allow you to press down and support it with your fingers in the back. it again. This side here is the side that's a little bit concave and uh, we're going to remove some flakes in there in a minute here. may not do the entire face, it's just not necessary. You need to get the base and the, and the tip and run a few flakes in there. Might be able to leave this area right here just like it is. Now these flakes here are in the concave area so I don't want them to go very far, I just want to keep the edge sharp. Since this thing is bent it's a little bit rough to kind of hard to work on these really small ones. As I get up toward the tip again I'm going to start driving the flakes a little bit longer to try and remove that bend that we've got in this particular point. I say try because it looks like it's got quite a bit more bend in it than I originally thought. Alright, now we'll do the same thing over here. gradually getting flatter. Okay. Let's see, I'll try and zoom in here a little bit. Alright. Here we go. Make sure I'm in the center of view. Okay. Look at my finger where it is. Supporting that back edge. That's my buddy up there. Okay. Oh, time to zoom out again here. All right. 